Okay. Out of my wrist, count of this spinning. Man at the coop, mind with no tennis. Chop out the top, hit it in the limit. I got some cake. What's up, y'all? Travy Divin in the building. You know what time it is. So, today's video, we're basically going to start buttoning up everything to try to get this prelude started. Champagne should be starting today. You know what I'm saying? So, stay tuned. So this is the things I got on the list, you know what I'm saying? Got a brand new starter, got the Dizzy, the plugs, the external coil. We got the ECU. Uh, this is a battery relocation kit. I'm gonna see how it works. And this was the most important part. This is the, uh, basically the Dizzy jumper harness. So it converts my OBD2A harness and lets me use the OBD1 distributor external coil. So with that being said, Let's get this hood open and get to work. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So the starter and Dizzy are on. The starter's brand new, ultra crispy, you know what I'm saying? This Dizzy uh, cleaned it up. It cleaned up pretty well. Obviously, it doesn't look as new as everything else, but I did clean it up quite a bit. So now we got this Dizzy jumper harness. So this is from uh, Rywire. Um, I'll have the link in the description if you guys are in a similar situation and need this. Uh, but their site has everything though, man. So what this does is, um, this is the end that's gonna go into um, the Dizzy right here. But this harness um, in the car originally had a crank position sensor over here and this motor doesn't have it. So on the actual harness, let me see if I can find it. Oh, right here. So this plug is the crank position sensor now on the original setup on this car this would have been down there by the timing belt cover and there's actually a crank an external crank position sensor but since this motor um has an internal uh crank position sensor in the dizzy um obviously we need to connect basically um this end connects to the dizzy one end reaches all the way over here connects into the crank position sensor over here and then the other one goes into what would normally be the dizzy plug for the, the external crank position sensor setup but since like i said again this has an internal crank position sensor in the dizzy the other connector connects in here and then that completes the the jumper harness setup all right, so I'm trying to, I was trying to find the spot to feed the uh, battery relocation cable that's gonna be in the trunk. And if you take off the uh, fuse box, there's a 10 mil holding that up, then you pull these little tabs out like this, and the box comes out. When you do that, you'll see a plug right here. You see I removed it already. Take out this plug, and it's a perfect spot to run this cable. So I ran a fishing wire, like a wire, and then uh, I'll be able to pull this battery cable through. All right, so I got the battery cable ran through that hole I guess that I showed you guys and then ran that through pulled the cover ran you see the brown wire ran it flipped this up tucked it up up underneath the carpet all the way up you can see that right there 
tucked it behind this. Um, the seat pulls up. There's these little tabs right there. Pull that tab out. Push down on the seat and pull the tab out. There's two tabs, one here, one there. You pull the seat out. And then this, uh, the back of this seat folds down. You fold that down. And then I think there's a, um, there's a Phillips head under here that you have to take out to flush the wire under here. And then that pretty much runs up. Let's see if we can't get it. And that pretty much runs up around the seat through this hole. And then you can fish it pretty much all the way to the trunk. So, all set. So a couple things that uh, I don't know if I got all of it on camera. My phone was doing something weird, but I got the power steering pump, the belts. I think I'm pretty sure you guys didn't see the belts, but I got both the belts put on. Uh, compressor, alternator, power steering. I did go ahead and throw the radiator in here. I might have to fab up something <clears throat> to get this to sit up straight how I want it. But for now, um, just for the purposes of trying to get it started, that should be good enough. Um, got new hoses on the top and the bottom. Um, oh, that's what I'm missing. Where my, I had to, uh, so one of the things I had to do was um, on the H23, a lot of times, I'm pretty sure most of them are like this, if not all, um, but the map sensor is usually actually on the uh, firewall. It's like not on the throttle body. So <clears throat> I had some, you know, I've had a bunch of F20Bs over the years. So I just snatched off the throttle body off of that one. And because this one has the uh, map sensor on the top of it. So I swapped out that, but I had to get the gasket. Yeah, basically I um, got this gasket. So I had to clean that one all the way up, throw this gasket on, and then we're gonna put some oil, we're gonna put some coolant, and then on to the ECU. Yep, I got that all cleaned up. Slip it right up on the, you know what I'm saying? All right, so this is where we at. Yes, you're looking at me and the motor at the same damn time. <laughs> Apple could never. <laughs> um, anyway. <laughs> you smash fruit around here, buddy. Right. So me and Kenny uh, basically getting to the root of everything. Um, as you can see, uh, I got the stuff kind of thrown in there. Obviously, I'm just trying to get it started and make sure the motor's good and, you know, kind of take it from there. But um, we got the motor to turn over. Um, got the battery in the trunk and all that. Got that situated. So basically the issue that we were kind of running into was we had fuel and no spark. So naturally I checked the main relay, I checked the fuses, I checked the ground. And uh, one of the things I never really went over with this build is that the uh, the um, previous owner, not Tevin, I got the car from Tevin, but the guy before Tevin um, had chopped the harness basically. And I had to undo what he did and in the midst of undoing what he did, I think I got two wires mixed up. Um, I'm not gonna go into details, but we swapped the wires and we're gonna see if now we get spark. So with that being said, yeah, let's, go. let's see what happens. You get it? Cut. You might need some keys, player. <laughs> Alright, that's it. You got spark. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, wait. 
That's tough. Alright, so um the two wires that uh that I swapped was the ECM and what was the other one? Uh ECM and a, and one of the signal wires basically. Yeah, so I had the ECM wire and the one of the signal wires swapped. So you guys saw it tried to bug it blue blue. Blue, blue, blue. Right, so I'm pretty confident that once we stick the uh, spark plug back in, that she's gonna start up. So, yeah, buddy. Let's see. Right. Let's see. All right, so there you have it. Hey, finally got champagne started, man. It's crazy. I've been, this car's been sitting for so long. This car's been sitting for so long. Feels good to finally, you know what I'm saying? Here, start up. That motor's been sitting. So, yeah, man, that's pretty much it for this video. But, uh, you know what I'm saying? Hit that like button. And you see that right there? Yeah, that's the subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Playmakers. Okay. Auto Marvels. Kind of the spinning. Man at the coupe. Mine with no tennis. Chop out the top. Hit it in the limit. I got some.